payload CMS tutorial. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about an incredible backend platform that allows you to manage and create the best content management systems that you can achieve out there. Now, this platform is called payload and payload helps you develop the modern web or any type of different modern web softwares that you're using and it uses the back end to help you change it in whatever way that you want now i'm going to be giving you an example on how you're going to want to use it so to get started what you're going to be doing is you are going to come over to payloadcms.com and once you're over here you're going to click on get started now once you click on get started it gives you these two options. So first of all, you have the payload cloud or you have self-host. So self-hosting is where you create your very own cloud and you use payload in that where all of the data and all of the management that goes happens through your very own cloud. But then there's the payload cloud like Google Drive or OneDrive, like Google has their very own cloud where you upload your things. So Payload Cloud is the fully managed hosting option built specifically for payload projects, databases, file storage, and email ready to use out of the box. So to start things off, you have two different options. You either get a blank content management system where you can start a very new project from scratch or you get a website, which is the perfect starting point for a CMS to manage a website, blog, or portfolio. So in a blank CMS, obviously, if you're more of a code-worthy person, you will know what to do. But even if you don't know a lot of coding, you can simply come over to this option. So once you come over to website, what you're going to do is you're going to click on register for free, and it's going to bring you over to the sign up portal. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to add our email and we're going to add the passwords that we want to start working off with. And once you do that, it will take you through to the main onboarding. So you're simply going to click on sign up. And what it does is it makes sure that you verify your account. So do make sure to check your email that you've added to sign up. And once you verify your email, what happens from there? is it logs in directly to your account straight away. So once the whole management is done and you verify your email, it should open up a portal like this where it says your email has been verified. You may now log in. So simply go ahead and enter the email that you have just added and the password. And once you've done that, it's going to bring you here. So this is your basic cloud. Now it says you have no projects. Create a project from a template or an export or import an existing Git code base. Now, obviously, if you're, you know, hot on GitHub, you know that GitHub has these different code bases or different code base templates for you to start off on. Now, you can import those if you're a code freak, but I'm going to stay over here and choose what the website gives us. So, again, I told you if you are a coding person, you may go with the blank CMS to start from scratch. But if you don't know a lot of coding, don't worry, you can simply go over to website. Now, once you come over to website here, you're going to see it says authorize your Git provider. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our GitHub. Now, once you go to continue with GitHub, what you're going to do over here is you're going to sign up with your GitHub account. Now, even if you don't have a GitHub account, that is not a hassle. You can simply go ahead and create an account for yourself. So as you can see, it's going to simply send a verification code straight to your email. So you're going to do the same you did before for payload. Just go over to your email and you're going to make sure to get yourself verified. And obviously, once you do that, it's going to get you a proper Git provider. And a Git provider is needed for the working of payload because obviously all the, all the database and all the clouds that it chooses off are off of github and you do need a git provider for something like that to work so we're going to paste the code that we've gotten over here and here as you can see you're simply going to get your payload authorized and once that is done it's simply going to redirect you to the main section where it's going to ask you to create a new template so we have the website template selected then you have the GitHub scope. Now, if you want to go ahead and add any GitHub integration or a GitHub app, you can add it to the GitHub scope if you want to. 
but I'm going to skip that for now. Then we have the repository name. Let's say website test one. Let's call it that. Now, once you do that, you can create a private Git repository for yourself as well. I'm going to do that and we're going to click on create. Now, what this does is it creates a template for us. Now, in some cases, it will say no installation ID provided to get GitHub token. So in the case, it does give you that issue. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to your GitHub app and get permissions for it. And it's pretty easy to get permissions from GitHub. All you're simply going to be doing is you're going to go over to GitHub.com. And once you've come to GitHub.com, make sure that you are properly locked in. And here you're going to simply create your repository. So let's name something of our repository. I'm going to make it public and we're going to click on create repository. Now, once your repository is good to go, simply come over here. And once we do that, simply generate it and make sure that your GitHub token right over here is properly managed and you make sure that the license and the token is properly verified and good to go because without that you will not be able to generate something on your git cloud okay and these are really important things to keep in mind but once you do that you clone your template and that should create a website for you and in the case you want to go for a blank template the the whole process is pretty much similar what you do is you give it a name and obviously if you want to go ahead and authorize and install any GitHub application, you can go ahead and do that for yourself as well. Simply go over to install a GitHub app and you know, once the application is done and it's good to go, you're just going to choose all repositories, make sure it's saved. And once everything is good to go, what you're simply going to do from there, go to blank. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and process something up for myself. Obviously, do make sure that the GitHub apps that you choose are, you know, properly processed. And if there's different applications here that you need to integrate, you add them in the proper repositories that are needed. But yeah, just go ahead, generate a clone for yourself. Obviously, my GitHub token isn't verified, but once yours is verified, you can simply go ahead and start using it. And the whole, you know, use case of the payload app is that you can simplify your work from code to content. It has an open source flexibility and maintainability, which supports a wide range of development and marketing use cases. You get a headless CMS. You get a headless e-commerce, enterprise app builders, digital asset management, and a whole lot more to work around with. It's really simple and really, you know, fun to use. And it truly streamlines all of your work, may it be any genre or any niche of work that you are processing yourself in. And, you know, that's the main idea of Payload and how you can use this content management system to run your work. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'm going to be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is going to be all from me and I'm going to be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.